Uh, this is uh, 2011 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, question number 18. Uh, it's a uh, uh, what the uh, 10 marks so this is our what the question from the topic series series and se sequence and series which you covered in form 3 so let's have a look at the question itself so this is the question uh, and it says the first uh, the fifth and the seventh terms of arithmetic progression corresponds to the first three consecutive terms of a decreasing progression GP the first term of each progression is 64 uh, the common difference of the AP is D and the common ratio of the GP is R part A of the question uh, Roman number like the equation involving D and R uh, find the values of D and R. Part B, find the sum of the first term of the AP, pro uh, arithmetic progression and the geometric progression. So in this part, uh, what you need to know, to remind yourself is uh, uh, what are the arithmetic progression, uh, geometric progression. So arithmetic progression, uh, we know we start with A, that is a uh, the sequence then we we say a plus d that that will be a plus 2d you continue like that until where you have uh, a plus n minus 1 you multiply by d so this is gp uh not gp but uh, this is uh, ap sorry for that this is ap arithmetic progression for gp uh this is when you divide uh, if you divide two consecutive uh, uh, terms, you get a common ratio. So here we have A, the first sum. We have AR. We have AR squared. Then it will continue like that. So we have AR n minus 1. <coughs> this is the nth term. So with that knowledge, you should be able to handle this. So we are told the first term. The first term, uh, we have been told that the first term is 64. So for AP here, we say 64. That is the first term. The fifth term, according to this formula, it will be 64 plus nth term is n minus 1. So if it is fifth, say 5 minus 4, so it will be 4D. The seventh term will be the first term, 64, plus, because it is the seventh, so we minus 1, it will be 6D, according to what we have here. Then for the GP, uh, we are told this forms the first three consecutive terms. So it means uh, here 64, uh, the it is the uh, first term, it's the same. So this is the second term, so it is AR, and uh, this is uh, 64 plus 4D is uh, uh, the third term. So it is AR squared according to the end term here. So we are supposed to write two terms uh, of this. So because we have uh, 64, it's for call it the same, we will say, okay, uh, I think here we need uh, to correct here. Uh, because we already have uh, the first term, so this will be 64R, 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 and this will be 64R squared. So because this is the first term, second term, and third term. So from there, then we can equate and say, uh, then here we have 64R, this one is equals to, is equals to 64 plus 4d and the other one is uh, we have 64 r squared 64 r squared is equals to 64 64 plus 6d because they are the same so if you get that you'll be able to get uh, that is uh, four marks uh, that is uh, two marks here uh, the, you get one mark there one mark there 
Uh, this is the background work. Uh, then from there, we go to question number two. Uh, Roman number two, we are so find the values of R, D, and R. So we are going to use this uh, two here. These two equations which we have formed in the part Roman number one to find R. So we can say, uh, then we can start with 64 R squared is equals to 64 uh, plus 6D. Uh, then we have 64 uh, R is equals to, uh, this will give us uh, 64 plus it is 4D. Uh, these are simultaneous equations, so we need to eliminate one of the unknown. So we will put the brackets there and say we need to equate this uh, so that we eliminate by subtraction. So how do we do that? Uh, if we multiply this by 2, this will give us 12. And if we multiply this by 3, that will give us uh, uh, 12 of 2. So we will be able to eliminate D. So this will be 2 times 64, that is 192 R squared uh, is equals to uh, 60, uh, not, uh, not 192 but 128, 128 uh, R squared uh, is equals to 64 times 2, that will give us 128, uh, then we have plus 12 of D this one we get it is a 64 times 3 that is the one that will give us 192 r is equals to this will give us 192 uh, then we have a, a plus 12 of d so we will be able to eliminate d so this will be 128 r squared uh, minus 192 r we subtract like that is equals to 128 minus 192 that will give us minus 64 and 12 of d minus 12 of d will give us a uh, uh, zero so you can divide this by by 64 so we divide by 64 divide by 64 divide by 64 so this will give us uh, this will give us, uh, we get 2R squared, when you divide here, uh, minus 3R. Here we will get minus 1, so we bring it to this side, it will be plus 1, is equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation, and the factors, I'm not going to show, to show you multiply 2 times 1, you get 2. Get 2 numbers such that when you add them, you get... Uh, minus 3 when you multiply you get 2 and this equation okay let me die that it will be minus 2r minus r plus 1 is equals to 0 and the factors that you'll be able to get here we will be you'll be able to get this is uh, uh, 2r minus 1 and uh, r minus 1 so these are the factors you get uh, so the imp it implies that r is equals to you take minus one to the other side. That is, you equate this to zero. You take to, uh, one to the other side becomes positive one, and you divide both side by two. Uh, or the other one you take one to the other side. R is equals to one. It becomes positive. So it means r is equals to a half. Uh, uh, or minus 1. But you realize that uh, if we put R is 1, this will not change. So GP will remain the same. And after all, we are told it is reducing. It is, uh, uh, it is, uh, I think there is somewhere we are told it is the first term uh, of a GP common reference that uh, it is reducing. Uh, yeah, decreasing, can he say it here? So R is equals to a half. And if you take R is a half, then what you do here is uh, you substitute in this equation here, you get your D. So R uh, 64 multiplied by a half, uh, then is equals to 64. Uh, this is uh, 64 plus 4D, uh, 4D. 
uh, this uh, 4D is equals to <laughs> that will give you you take uh, this is 32 take 64 to the other side it is it will give you minus 32 divide both side by 4 you get D is equals to minus 8 and that is uh, the, the way you work out that uh, if you be able to do that you'll be able to get the formats so you'll be able to get one mark there you get uh, for forming the equation uh, no, that is for that is uh, for multiplying that getting the quadratic equation and solving the quadratic equation that will add up to four marks uh, we look at uh, part b find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic progression uh, what you need to know here is to remind yourself the formula that we use to get the sum of the n terms so for a p s n is equals to n over 2 uh, into bracket 2 a plus n minus 1 into bracket d uh, close the bracket so because we have n we have a we have d we can come here and now say uh, s10 uh, then it is equals to n is 10 so it is n divided by 5 you put the bracket 2 multiplied by a is 64 uh, then you say it is plus our n is 10 minus 1 it is 9 so multiply by common difference which is minus 8 and that you'll be able if you work out this uh, it means this is equals to 5 uh, this will give you 128 uh, 128 uh, this is uh, 128 minus this is minus 72 and this will give you uh, 5 multiply 128 minus uh, minus 72 put the bracket here that will give you 56 and this is equals to when you multiply that you can use your calculator you will be able to get 280 so that is a sum of the first term 10 terms of the arithmetic progression the second part the geomet the first the the first 10 terms of the geometric progression what is the formula for finding geometric progression uh, the formula we have uh, s n is equals to uh, we have uh, we have two when our r is uh, less than one so when r we have uh, we have uh, r minus r to power n uh, let's correct that uh, it should start with a uh, r n minus one divide by r minus one that is <coughs> when r is greater than one but when r is less than 1 we have sn is equals to a into bracket 1 minus uh, r to power n divided by 1 minus r uh, r is less than 1 because our r we've got it's a half so we are going to use this one so we say our s10 is equals to uh, we say it is uh, 64 which is our a uh, you put the bracket you put 1 minus our r is a half raised to power 10 you divide by 1 minus uh, a half and you close the bracket so here you need to use a calculator you have uh, this kind of a calculator scientific calculator uh, non-programmable so you just say it is 1 minus uh, you can use 0 0.5 for easier computation you say it is raised to power 10 and that will give you if you press the uh, if you press the uh, the inverse uh, the, the, the fraction button it will be 64 and here you get it is 10 23 uh, divided by 10 24 that is what your calculator will give you you divide by a half one minus a half so the same on your calculator you can uh, divide by a ha by 0 0.5 0 0.5 or a half which will give you uh, one one and five eleven over five and twelve 
uh, that is 64 you multiply by 1 and uh, 5 11 divide by uh, 5 12 uh, still with the same on the calculator why don't you multiply by 64 and when you multiply by 64 you get it is uh, it is equals to 127.875 so that is the answer to that part b that is the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric progression uh, i hope you have followed that is the way you solve that the most important thing here is you should remember how the uh, arithmetic progression general format of it uh, arithmetic uh, geometric progression or sequence that format then these formulas are very important the formula for getting the first term uh, the first n terms of uh, arithmetic uh, uh, progression and the other one for remember here when n e r is greater than one you use this one when r is less than half you use the second one so that's how you work out that question